found your friend, you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong. Stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. If you're only eating one meal a day, it has to be a hearty breakfast. Don't you think, folks? <laughs> well, hello, world. Um, feeling a little rested, not fully recharged, but yesterday was a, a tough ride. A very tough ride indeed. But yesterday past we're on to another day and we've got to move on so today heading towards Cappadocia and uh, the aim was actually to go further but it looks as though further means r a ridiculous long drive again so I'm gonna go to Cappadocia so I can record something and then uh, it's on hopefully to a mechanic tomorrow so I can get my oil changed filters changed um, and I'm ready to head into Iran that's the plan but you know we plan so much and then things happen I need to make contact with the mechanic to see if he will do it today if he doesn't then I guess it's onwards as is till I get to Pakistan um, that's it really leaving Sparta and uh, heading to Cappadocia on the way I will stop off at a lake so folks, this is Girdir, this is a little castle, well remnants of a castle and often when I come to Turkey I come here um, as a tranquil lake, uh, most people stay in the hustle bustle I sort of go off towards this peninsula which is, um, which is this little bit um, and it juts out and then you can come back on yourself but it is pretty let me just show you this lake and the park that sits next to it. It's a really nice place to visit if ever you come to Egirdir in Turkey. The water beckons. Should I pop my feet into this water? What do you think? I think it's a possibility. <laughs> so twists and turns once more on a mountain side alongside a lake. You can't get better than that folks. <laughs> um, and they're soft twists and turns. It means you don't have to really reduce your speed, you just need to make sure you got your counter steering right and your body in position for a nice sharp bend. Like so. Oops, uh, trouble and mayhem is always just around the corner. I've come to this petrol station after crossing four petrol stations that don't sell petrol or are in a state of disrepair and these guys only sell LPG. So I've asked where the nearest petrol station is and it's 45 uh, kilometers away but I am literally running on empty so that I can't get there. He then suggested that there's a house that sells petrol by bottled litre, coca-cola bottles, one and a half litres, um, but that's five kilometres away and I'm actually empty on even five kilometres. So uh, after making a call, they're going to bring the petrol to me and charge me um, a little extra, which I'm happy to pay so long as I get fuel and I'm back on the road. It's a tough call. Sometimes when you go in the sticks, um, cars obviously have a larger range I thought I had enough there were like four petrol stations I thought one would have it but all four are closed sods lore finally fueled up and at Konya this is the shrine of the illustrious Jalaluddin Rumi just a very short pit stop we're in Cappadocia I have to apologize in advance um, this is a whistle stop tour 
Um, the aim is to get to the Chinese border. And uh, so if I don't show you enough of one area or region, please accept my apologies in advance. But this is uh, Uchisar, and there's a, an old castle, um, sort of mound, whatever you want to call it, up ahead, just over there. And I'm going to head in that direction. Uh, folks, is what um, most people come to see these kind of things. I'm not saying it's this particular castle, but this is one of them. This is one of the castles. I'll try to show you more. I've still got some daylight, but I am absolutely shattered. I just want to show you something else. This is dried fruit, and this stall has got so many colors. It's a rainbow stall. Look at the colors of the dried fruit. The stalls with lots of colors and toys and gifts and fruits and whatnot. I don't know, lots and lots. And that, my friends, I think is Gorame, which I'll be heading down to. But this is part of the valley of Cappadocia. Folks, uh, the whole place is like a museum of how they lived in Cappadocia. There's cave dwellings everywhere. So folks, we're heading towards Gorame. This is the probably most famous of all the little towns that make up Cappadocia towns. Villages really, not towns, villages. Um, this is the center point. Um, all roads lead to Rome and Gorame. <laughs> of a morning, one can get up really early and see all the balloons in the sky, which we'll try to do tomorrow if we get an opportunity right so folks this is the dining room and there's a little ensemble down there and there's this wonderful terrace this place is called Mustafa Mustafa Basha Mustafa and it's um, it's outside Gorame in Urkut it's a little distance away there's still caves and old dwellings here but I picked this because my onward journey is in this direction. I thought I'd save myself 20 kilometers. But the only problem was even though it did record, it had parking, it's parking on the street, which means uh, there's no secure parking for motorcycles. So I had to take everything off, but it's okay. It's all good, a little bit of exercise. This actually is literally my full terrace. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but I'm the only person staying here. So she said, it's all your terrace. So I could dance here, because <laughs> nobody's looking. That's why I'm feeling brave. And I'll show you the room because it is a cave dwelling. Uh, Nabastinos 104. So this is the room, guys. It's a, it's a nice room. I'm not sure how much, I mean, I can see this is new, but that could be part of the old dwelling they're built on top and then everyone knows that I will show the bathroom so there's the basin and that's the open shower and it's a very small door I only found out because I just knocked my head on it so that's it so lovely people it's time for me to go another long journey tomorrow but I just wanted to add if you guys can promote these videos the more people watch the more we'll get from youtube the more we will contribute towards these charities and the other charity events that we hope to do in the future so all that is left to say is good luck god bless you and take care of yourselves bye bye